Hey guys, welcome back to another video of e-commerce website development. And uh, we are continuing the series again. So yeah, there we go. I paused the series of uh, Elden YouTube for a few moments. Till we go a little bit more further in the shopping website and then we'll continue the game. So the last time we set it up our products to be shown in the front end page, right? Yeah, this is the exact page that we set it up, our index page. Okay, it doesn't look bad, it looks pretty okay to me. Nicely done. So now what exactly we're gonna do? We are going to set up another page that is going to be like more like a product specified page. So if someone clicks on this page, he should be taken to the another page. So we wanna make some routes to that thing also. So first of all what, what we wanna do we wanna first of all import link from React from Redux let's see. Not actually Redux from uh, Next.js. Import link from next slash link and if someone clicks on this do other than just doing something random we just want to do what we just want to open it uh we just make sure here we need to have the link let's see all of this let's wrap it over the link Okay, there's some error. I'm really literally not sure. Chill a bit. Does this thing last? Return. Yeah, this is correct. So here we're gonna say link extract is going to be equal to our uh data that we're getting data title dot slug slash that okay we need that as slash also because uh, it's it has to be a link so now how do we make this dynamic route so here we're just create we're just going to create a new file with a uh big uh, with the call I mean, not with square brackets here we'll say it as Slug JavaScript. So basically, this this is dynamic routing in Next.js, and we'll just say RFC. Get rid of this thing. Get rid of this thing. And now we are going to get rid of uh, from first of all server side rendering. We'll say export constant get server side props is going to be an instance function. It's going to get a context. And it has to return uh, props. Okay, it's gonna return something like that. And here we are going to get the data from. We're gonna make a new route here in the server section. In controls for now, we're just getting the product. In the products, we have been get products. We'll, we'll make another one, which is going to be get specific product. Dot js constant get specific product. It's going to be an asynchronous function. It's going to get a person response, and it's going to work according to that. When I say constant product is going to be called the require dollar slash dollar slash model slash products. So what we want to do, we will be getting uh, some kind of data from the uh, wherever we're just calling this. Okay, we'll just do a get request in here. Okay, we can do a post request also. That's not a much big thing, but let's suppose we're just doing a get request because we'll be sending some data through the query query actually. So we'll just say uh, do, 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 constant. Constant slug is going to be equal to request of query. We will get slug from there. Uh, we can just call it. Yeah, slug is okay. So we'll send slug. Uh, we will actually read the URL. We'll just send the URL URL uh, to the server using a fetch request. And in the server right here, what we wanna do? We wanna say constant get specific specific product is going to be equal to. Uh, find await where our, our product dot find one 
where the slug match. Okay, let's see. Model the product. Where were the slug mats? Are we be having something like this slug? Yes, yeah, slug mats. Okay, slug is this thing. Wherever the slug match, just return us that thing back. Okay. So when they return us that thing back, what I want to do is exactly maybe I want to send the whole data back to the server, to the client. Well, I think we might have, we might need to do something else also. I don't remember it currently to be honest. So I just opened the project. I will be honest with you guys. I just opened the project. It's been like two weeks since I stopped the, uh, continuing the project. I just opened it. I um I didn't saw the project before making starting this video. So I'm just whatever it is. Okay. Get specific project. It's going to be await oh file one slug. If get specific product didn't return us anything, let's say come return. I respond to JSON. Status is going to be zero. Message is going to be no product found. Well, actually, message doesn't matter. We'll, otherwise, we'll, say, we'll just say respond to JSON. Get this one. Data is going to be get specific product. Model exports is going to be called the get specific product. And uh, we'll go to our controllers index. Get request specific import it directly. And here we're gonna say constant data is going to be await for our fetch request, which is going to be on. Next config. Okay, we have not set it up here that thing do have we? Uh let's say here HTTP colon slash slash local host uh five thousand slash API API slash get specific products question mark slug is going to be equal to Plus, we're gonna get a slug from uh, the context. Let's we'll say constant slug is going to be uh, our context context dot request dot query, I guess, or just context query. I'm not sure though. Plus slug dot dot then. Response with the register model JSON. I'll say console.log slug. CD server node one. CD uh, client. Uh, let's do a yarn dev. This is what we made till now. We'll say slash test slug. Okay, what do we get to see in the console? Oh, test test basically. Yeah, so it's working fine. Can send it to the server. It's going to make the request. It's going to get the data back, and here we're going to say. Give the data maybe. Uh, props must return a play index when the server returned. Props receive object undefined. Alrighty, so here we're gonna say data console dot log data and let's get any product that we knew. Let's see this one, what it has to say. Good, we get to see the things we wanted.
fevicon.co get request to fevicon.co is failing why are we making a get request for the fevicon where is the public folder oh I basically deleted the fevicon uh, let's keep something empty there we don't care about it Undefined cannot be serialized. Error serialized in data from get servers are props. Why was there an error? Okay, good. I do refresh here. You can see I get the data perfectly fine. Here is all of our data. It's, it's being server side rendered, so that means it's all fine. And we go to tail blocks.cc. And there we'll go to our e-commerce section and we need to this one. E-commerce, we need uh, this one. Copy to clipboard, we'll say. HTML to JSX. Let's copy it and let's... Uh, other than before pasting this thing, we'll say okay. So what we're gonna do if we didn't got the data? So basically, if we don't get the data, we wanna show some 404 page like this. Uh, this page is not available, something like that. So how we do that? First of all, we need to see how what we are sending back to the guy. Okay. When sending them back, status zero if there is no thing. So maybe we have to say something like uh, we're gonna need the data. Give me the data. I'm gonna say okay. Let's also give the data here. We'll give it as a null. Okay, that's good. If I try to console log, I did the wrong thing. No, find objective. Okay. What is this? Object keys. If you mean to render an array. Let's try to do console log of data here. I don't get the error. What is the error saying? Object on no valid as React child. Object with keys if you meant to render a collection of children using every instead. Okay, let's not get anything here. Fancy shoes, red, uh, we're getting the error. We're making a request successfully though. So we just see return the props, which will return nothing. Objects are not valid as okay. Let's not destructure it. Let's uh, yeah, let's get it just. How about we try to retry this all things? Okay, we're still getting the error. Do you mean valid as React child? If you meant to render a collection of children, use an array instead. Oh, damn it. The issue was it's not what we thought it is. The issue was here we are having the wrong thing. No, that's great. So now we're getting the null here. We can exactly have some JSX. Let's say if data is not there, I want to show something otherwise I want to show something else what is it saying? unreachable code detected and why is it enter unreachable? ok I get it I need to wrap it up inside some uh, empty tags something like that, good 
So if the data is not available, we want to show some kind of no page thing. We make a component uh, here. The component folder will say this no page dot j6 rfc and uh, let's folder for page tailwind css all becomes paid back back can show them something basic. I mean, we don't really much care about how cold it should be, though. Something like this should be pretty fine if it's free. Oh, yeah. It's free. And it looks good. Okay, we got some additional thing also. We got some styling. Nice. Let me go here, paste it here, just go copy. Dangerously set dangerously set HTML. Okay, what is there? What are we trying to set? Oh the style, really? Oh we're trying to set the okay. We could have done another thing. We could have just put this style inside the JSX, so that would have been kinda of like the same thing. But yeah, it's pretty okay. How do we go back? Uh, we'll just say Chrome uh, constant notch the constant in uh, we'll say import use router from next slash router and here we'll say constant router is equal to use router and here once we click on this thing. URL here previous. No, you just do what I said to you. Just be a div. On click is going to be okay. Router dot push slash. It should take us to the home page. Okay. There is no data. We wanna get the no page component there, otherwise we're going to show nothing. Testing time. You should only use router inside the client. Inside the client of grab. Oh, I guess we are not in the correct thing, in the current position to use this thing. We can only use link then. Yeah, probably. Let's get rid of the router because we are in the component folder, so maybe we can add some restriction. Nice job, slash. Let's import link from next test link. Link is not defined. Go back. Uh, go back shouldn't be this much bigger. Ground and beat XXL, that's okay, but. If the width is just going to be. Which one is it? Go back. The go back div will say width is going to be 1 by 2 or 1 by 4. Yeah, looks pretty good to me. We're having a margin top of a lot. Empty M auto 
MG24. Where is MG24? Here we can just say padding 24 instead. Okay, looks good now. And here, once we hover over the go back button, just want to say the cursor is going to be become pointer, something like that. And once we click on it, we're just going to go back to where we came from. Start property shouldn't contain a semicolon. Okay. Each child in list should have unique key prop. Okay, which one is not getting the key? Oh yeah. This guy is not getting the key. We need to give the key to this thing. Okay, good. Now we are having this thing if I click here, yeah, I should get to the other page which ex exactly show gets the data of the thing that we wanted. Quantity 4, price 80, uh, title is this, we go back, we get, click on this. This is another one, this edit our shoes. So one second, now oh, they both edit our shoes. Not really. So what is happening here? Okay, let's see the thing, let's see the thing, What's, what are we doing? Data title dot e. Let me just try to do a console log of the things. Multiple children will pass. Oh, multiple children will pass. I get it. We'll put it here. Fancy editor shows gray. Fancy editor shows gray, but no, it should not be the thing. They are getting the same slug for the things, right? Exactly. They're giving the same slug for both of the things. Uh, I mean, some. Huh? Okay, let's see what's happening exactly. Fancy editor shows gray s. Fancy editor shows gray s. Okay, they both have the same slug. That's what's up. That's why. That's why I'm getting the same thing. So I'm gonna say get products. What's happening here? Respond to the sort of data. Uh, what's up with the slug thing? Premium Nike shoes. Premium Nike shoes. Okay. Should not be pushing the slug in this section. No, we should not be doing this thing, man. I just want the slug or something particular or not even the image. 
Okay. We got a lot of things to do. Ah, yes. So I think basically we cannot get this slug. Cannot get the slug of the max product. Because that will be an issue basically. And uh, not the image. Not the description. Oh. There's no description. Okay, fix the bug. Nice. We're getting the things differently. Now let's say let us go back to three thousand. So this one here we get the premium shoes, quantity two, blah blah stuff. Here we get the different thing, right? So exactly the thing is, we don't need exactly the same things. We don't need the highest image. We don't need the highest image color stuff like that. We can just have here whatever we have. We can just have the total quantity and shoes and the fancy title. And once the user clicks on this thing, basically, it will click on here, and then inside we want to show him like what type of things are available, okay? Because here we're just saying the quantity of total. Based in the price, uh, maybe of the price is just going to be kind of the same thing for all of them. We're just assuming it. We're just saying price should be of the total of the maximum thing we are selling there. And then we have the total, all all the sizes that are available, all the colors that are available, and there we go. That's what we get back. So in the next video, what we're gonna, what we'll be doing, we'll actually make a, we you know actually you know populate all of this data that we're getting from the server inside of our uh, data just like uh, this one okay just like the e-commerce one I think you already saw it it looks pretty good though okay, just like this one here is going to be our image here is going to be our description we're going to get rid of this previous thing this is going to be our title this is going to be our category this is going to be our uh, size is available. This is going to be our color. This is going to be our price. Add to cart, and that's all. We're not going to have this one option, okay? And that's all going to be very good. Then we'll just move ahead. We'll set up the notification system, and again, forward, forward, forward. We're going to do quite a few things. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye bye.